Hi guys, let's proceed in understanding the third argument, which is default argument value. So when you write a PHP function, and if you don't specify any argument, it will basically take the default argument. And when you say default argument, that is uh, pre-assigned already in the function. So how can we do that? So I'll be showing you an example just like this it's still the same but that's uh, so what you can see um, Fernand is the default argument or the default value from the argument so how did I do that first I need to show you my Visual Studio code one moment I'll be copying this one again so that I will not be inserting another Okay, let me save it. It's function 6.php. There. So this is, uh, let me go back to the presentation. Back to the presentation. Okay, uh, base here, it's default argument value. Okay, default argument value. Default argument value. Default argument value. Save it. So the default argument value. This is the time where I will erase this one. And I'll be creating my function. The function name for this example, for me, it's still, I will be using ask my name, but with the capital N. Okay, so I will pre-assign my name as um, Fernand. Okay, then after pre-assigning my name as Fernand, um, after pre-assigning that, this is the time where I will go ahead and um, echo and put inside the echo hello name and then we are here semicolon there and then after that since I already have the default one uh, I'll go ahead and um, call the value but I'll be inserting um, sorry I'll be calling um, the function name then I'll be inserting a value so that it will be passed on to the argument or to the parameter here. So for example, this one, uh, based on the example, this is Ralph. I'll be putting something like this. Then I'll be putting here, uh, this is Kyle, right? I've been using these names all throughout this exercise oh sorry all throughout this topic then carl here then sorry i forgot the semicolon and that's it so you've noticed that um if the um if there is a value already inserted the fernand will be gone because it will prioritize um the value input uh, the value assigned here in the line the line of code 12 14 and 16 but if there is no value added it will go ahead and proceed with the default value which is for now let me save it and let me run the program localhost oh sorry what's that then function six there you go it's working right so right now, in our next video, we will be talking about the return value.